All right, well, I was on a row vlogging every day. And then crisis after crisis happened. I'm out here at Bama Farm at the moment. I needed a break. I couldn't do it anymore. So Sunday, we had a great day. It was our grand opening for United, the new Dream Center. We had our first meeting together there. It was phenomenal. It was a great time. We ate pizza, we hung out, we talked. And then Monday I had made the decision to not do anything, because for three or four weeks now, I just heard something, oh it's Noah, he's over trying to cut grass with a sickle, I told him not to lose his leg. So for three or four weeks now, I haven't had a day off, and the day off that I did have, I spent doing this. Yeah, thank you iPhone, I accidentally hit the power button, so I'll piece this together. I, we spent doing this, which is great. So I decided Monday I was going to sleep in, I was going to, Hannah had a doctor's appointment, go to that, come back, get back in bed, watch TV shows, and then come out here to the farm. But, about the time that I got out to go take Hannah to the doctor, phone calls start, and the power at the cafe wasn't working, and it kept flipping the breaker. Well, at first it wasn't working, we realized it was the main breaker that was having to be flipped, and so... I had to go up there while Hannah was at a doctor's appointment. Turns out we were pulling too much power. I called the power company. I called an electrician to come out. They came back out at six. The power company said nothing's wrong. The electrician said you're pulling too much power. So out comes like 400 bucks for the electrician to run 13 new plugs on a cup, four more different breakers, which was good. We needed to get it done in the kitchen. But then the next morning, so I was there till almost 8:30, 9 that night on the day off. Next morning I get up, he's supposed to be there at 9.30, he works till 2.30, and the power still won't cut on, so it's hilarious. The power company comes out, and they walk over to their box, and they take it off, and I'm figuring, they get like little cut cutters out, and I figure, okay, they're gonna change out these breakers and put breakers in or something. The dude goes like this, he goes, doop, doop. He goes, okay, problem's fixed. He cut two wires. And I said, what did you do? He said, I can't tell you. I said, all right, well, next time it does this, I'm just gonna come hit it with a hammer, or I'm gonna come cut some wires. They thought it was hilarious, but I'm guessing, from what the electrician said, they cut off, they cut off like some kind of security measure or something, I don't know. But, all that to say, the dude got done around Tuesday around 3.30, and we have an individual plug for every big thing in the kitchen, which is like 13 new plugs. Hang on. <laughs> Had to spit, sorry. And so then all of a sudden, the because he had to move the ice machine, the ice machine broke where the, what do you call it? Where the excess comes out. The only words coming in Romanian. The, where it drains, the drain pipe. So then I've spent the past, that was Tuesday, all day Wednesday, and then finally last night I got it to where it wasn't leaking, but it wasn't draining either. And I, so today I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep in. I'm gonna get some rest, and I did sleep in a little. Well, not for me. Woo. And uh, then I get a phone call about a cash register that it has to be done now in the next 24 hours. Yada yada yada. So all that being said, it's been a crazy week of nonstop. Noah, show us what you're doing here, bud. I just destroyed a humongous metal. Okay, and what did that nettle do to you? It stung me. It stung him. Where's your sickle? Mom won't let me use it. Ah. <laughs> mom, mom took the sickle away. <laughs> so the poor boy's got to kill the nettle with a shovel. I told him he could use it. Mama said no. Mama's the boss. So, I have literally been going morning till night, morning till night, morning till night, morning till night. So today, I finally drove to the cash register place, paid them money to handle the stuff, because I didn't have, I'd have to drive like an hour down south, an hour back, for Chris, who's opening a kiosk, uh, selling coffee and, and stuff, so I'm helping him. And then I went and did paperwork and stuff, spent some time with the interns. Working on budgeting and different stuff. And now we finally came out here to the farm to breathe fresh air. So this is what's happening. 
We got Brittany holding Mila. Okay, you ready? Playing with Charity. We've got Hannah and Marley. Marley, tell us something. Say something to the camera. Hi. There we go. That's good. Hannah. Hi. All right. And then we got the moms over here. Ready? And Mama, this Mama took the sickle away from the boy. Yes, I did. And that Mama's happy to be with her grandbabies. Amen. So. That's pretty much it. Uh, tomorrow is a normal work day. And uh, it's been a fun week. Sarah, you want to say something to the people? Hello, people. Say something to Erica. Hi, Erica. I love you. I miss you. Come back and see me. Uh, Erica is our number one vlog for fan out there. <laughs> of all and 20. I think her children. And her ch oh, hello. Erica's kids. Allie, Katie, Riley. Allie, Katie, Riley. <laughs> I know your names. They have names. Really but right now my brain is literally fried and my anxiety level's like up to here. But now that I'm at the farm, it's coming down. And the, the ice machine's fixed. And the electricity's fixed. And Sarah got fixed, so everything's good. <laughs> 